Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing video with me. This technology or this model is not new, but the efficiency with which this works is pretty amazing. This is for the face transfer of video and images and I'll tell you how this came to my mind because recently I was working with some images in ChatGPT and you can see I tried to create one headshot and I was creating other images but the problem is I cannot maintain consistency if I move out of this particular chat. So if I have created one image with ChatGPT one face and then I want to create multiple other like poses and styles and everything when it comes to realistic photos it creates problems like most of the time it tries to throw error if we are moving away from that chat so basically what happens is that if I start a new chat I use this image and I then prompt it to provide uh, different other images or poses ChatGPT thinks that I am using someone real's photo and that's why it gives error that uh, they cannot produce the images because of some uh, security reasons and sometimes like the images can be normal it does not need to be NSFW or something like that even then it throws error like it is very very strict to a point that you cannot even prompt for fashion or stuff like that with consistency so this was a problem and for this I was going through reactor and I saw that it works pretty well when it comes to photos and videos as well so in this video i'll share this workflow you will get the links for this workflow and everything in the description box below so don't worry about it and i'll also show how it is working so basically this is using a, a wrapper for reactor and if you when you install this when you use this workflow you may not have this particular node so go to manager install missing custom nodes and you can find it reactor fast face swap and how this video works is that basically you can see there is a, a bypasser so you can enable the video or you can enable the image now before i show this one thing you should always remember is that never use someone's video or image without their permission especially if you are doing for uh, any commercial purpose and never use no matter what for anything objectionable now one thing which is good with reactor is that you actually uh, cannot create anything NSFW so whenever you run this it actually checks the video if there is something like uh, objectionable or not safe and then it will directly like uh, block it and the face swap will not perform if there is something uh, NSFW so always uh, use it on images like normal images this is how you can create AI influencers but normal uh, images or normal videos yeah and now here you can see for example you can load any image or reel or something which is short now one thing i have done here is that i have muted this preview so there is no audio but the actual audio is present and this is going to the final video as well so you will get this video with audio now secondly keep all these settings as the same so it will take the whole length here you would be taking the image that you created again always create your own images and or if you want to create an AI influencer do not try to use anyone's other identity or face for anything like obviously you would not be able to use this for NSFW but the thing is even if you are doing for something commercial work do not use someone else's face or anything and yeah here you can see the video info is coming to this particular node right and we, here we have the source fps so we want this source fps to go here to the frame rate for the final video combined here you can see it is 8 but it does not matter because the frame rate is directly coming from here right and after that the image is going to the input image of the reactor fa uh, fast face swap and the source image is coming through this now obviously if you have the source image you can export out the face model as well if you want but I am not doing this in this particular workflow now some settings that are very important in this and I'll talk about why swap model it is using is inswapper 128 so keep it the same now the face detection I have seen that this works pretty well 
बट यू कैन ट्राई अदर यू कैन ट्राई दिस वन एज वेल योलो वी फाइव एल बट आई एक्चुअली लाइक दिस वन सो आई एम यूजिंग दिस नाउ विद द फेस रिस्टोर मॉडल राइट दिस इज एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देर आर फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स वन थिंग दैट आई हैव नोटिस इज दैट यूल नोटिस दिस लास्ट वन दैट इज जी पी ई एन बी एफ आर फाइव वन टू राइट आई एम एक्चुअली यूजिंग दिस वेन इट कम्स टू इमेज इमेज जनरेशन बिकॉज इट गिवस अ वेरी गुड क्लैरिटी बट वेन इट कम्स टू वीडियो आई हैव सीन इट बिकम्स ऑलमोस्ट टू क्लियर एंड समटाइम्स इन द वीडियोज यू विल सी सम लाइक अल्ट्रा क्लियर एजेस विच इज डज नॉट लुक दैट ग्रेट राइट सो दिस वन जी एफ पी गैन वन पॉइंट फोर दिस इज समथिंग विच आई हैव फॉन्ड वर्क प्रिटी वेल लाइक इट इज नॉट अल्ट्रा शार्प बट ब्लड ब्लैंड इन वेरी वेल राइट This is it. So face restore visibility. Keep it zero point eight, and let uh, keep all of the uh, these things as same because I have seen these works, uh, these numbers work pretty well, right? Now you would see there are two different versions, and obviously like both of them are videos. I have just paused this preview here. Second one, this is one node which I actually liked. The, that is HDR effects, and here you can see these are the settings. it is slightly enhancing the hdr effect of the video and i have seen that in most of the cases it helps in uh, blending in like it just looks good not uh, it does not help that much in like covering up if there are some issues with the face but in general it creates a contrast hdr effect which uh, looks good so this is it here you can see the file name uh, you can put anything that you like the format is this and you can see or uh, keep all of these uh, settings as same now one thing you would see when i'm hovering over it there is no audio because i have muted the preview if you unmute it you can see the audio here is directly coming from this video so whatever audio is present in the original video will come to it so if you want to compare it you can see this was the face this is the face that we are replacing with and this is the final output and the jittering and everything even the eye movement is pretty good you can see just one jitter when the face moves so whenever there are hands over the face or the face is moving abruptly there can be some glitches but other than that you can see like this whole part looks pretty pretty amazing even the eye movements and everything look pretty good right so this was it for the video generation now let's come to the image generation as well here you can see and this is also an image that i created previously this is the same photo so i'll try this again with another one you can see i pasted this here so this is doing two things like i mentioned i am using the face restore at uh, gpe and bfr this one and everything else is same and with that i am also using this super scale and i'll provide this link in the description below for this upscale model this works pretty good and i'll just queue this prompt and it takes very less time and the reason why i love this workflow is because it does not take up much of uh, the vram so you can work it on like i think 6 gb of vram and it is very fast and now you can see this is the final result so this was the image here and the face is completely different here you can see the eyes the nose the lips everything matches with this image and it is pretty good it also got upscaled this looks pretty good so how you can uh, use this particular workflow is that if you are creating your own images and you want to maintain consistency of a face that you already created of a face shot so you can create multiple angles like left right profile from the single face and use it to swap images of anything that you are using with chat gpt again use it safely and uh, yeah if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of problem put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you